So, welcome back to a new episode of Fuckpunk Studio. It is now July and Star Wars are just like exploding. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's begin with the MSC. I'm going to buy a fuel cell. It's just a uh, continuous output. And I noticed that the water is like turning green. I mean, it's like there's a ton of nutrients available in the water for algae growth. We got a ton of sunlight. So these algaes, yeah, they find a way. But the positive side note is that uh, algae are also uh, uh, photoelectric cells, like a solar cell. So you can make uh, electricity with uh, pure algae. If you're like top layer and you have like a lower layer, there's some uh, density momo going on within uh, algae culture. So you get a thicker layer here, a thinner layer there, and there's some more activity going on here and then there. Otherwise you get like a photos potential, like a plus and a minus. But I also got the photos potential of the poo. But now I got the photos potential of the bacteria, the, the algae too. So it's now it's also a solar fish poo reactor mama. And it's okay because we get more output. So yeah, I try to do some fun stuff and maybe use some high voltage to for some momo. But yeah, this old weather station, I try to hook it up, but it's so cheaply soldered. I destroyed mainly all the wires and I have to get back to it. But we got like a nine volts and I'm just charging up my capacitors now these are 10 volts so it will get uh, charged but you can also hook up 12 volt 140 volts tesla shit whatever you want you know it's all possible with the uh, fish pool and algae wow who cares you know <laughs> 24 7 free power these days you know well, let's continue to the pepper plants <coughs> and these i harvested Last week all the peppers, but here's a new one, nice one, this is a new one, nice one, this is a new one, nice one. And now you got in every corner of the bee, the leaf or the stem, there's a new paprika pepper growing, so it's a really nifty plant. Well, this plant still uh, lacks something, you know. I just added a lot of it, so I expected more growth maybe this one is catching up or, I don't know, this plant yeah it's good to find the leaves but I don't know, maybe it's growing too fast that's not its time, you know because if you look at other leaves these trees have also have a that one has a really hard time maybe because it's too wet feet because the inlet is there from the pump into the grow bed. But you see some uh, buried leaves because drips are falling onto it. Maybe it's causing some infection and uh, other leaves are great. And I have to cut them down because they are already growing almost outside the dome. There's this guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> it keeps growing. Really insane. Well, yeah, also new peppers. We also had a white tiger over here. He's sitting there for weeks. I don't know what he's doing, but he just sits there. Maybe he's hibernating in the summer. <laughs> I don't know. But well, enough peppers, new peppers, green peppers, peppers, peppers. peppers. So that's nice, and we can have a continuous uh, production. I hope it's enough. Otherwise, we need to grow more peppers. Or these plants need to grow into adulthood, and then uh, we have like a five-year-old pepper plant. Super high, thousands of peppers. Um, that's also nice to eat. 
behind there. And there's a Mahi plant. This is uh, a store bay I saved from uh, outside. Also from showing some uh, Momo. And now we have the, it's not oak, it's a uh, castanje we call it. Now this is second year, it's growing. <laughs> also found this weirdo, maybe it's, I think, could be avocado, but doesn't look really like avocado. And of course, more peppers harvested at all. Now they're already new with red peppers, so it's nice to see. They are so green, green, green. Pop, 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 pop. Here also it's exploding and it's like bam, 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 bam. So what I did is also added some compost from the little worm bin. So everything what didn't made it to the shop or into the stomach people two people I just uh, compost it worm it out put worms into the system pull it out so you get the next turn from nutrients and maybe just add some compost next to the side of, uh, side of plants your plant into the, the grow medium strawberries had their times so they're not so booming anymore just, uh, Maybe later. And uh, tomatoes, I just planted those seeds way, uh, months ago, but now they are showing, uh, <laughs> popping up. They show themselves. There's some nice uh, ornamental uh, plants. You can mix soap from them. Um, you got here the carrot leaves or the carrot seeds. Might be already done, but they uh, have to ripen, I think. Uh, the same for the leek seed, but I hope I will have tons of carrot seeds for next year, maybe. And leek seeds. Yeah, they're all green, those buds. Still green. Well, the fish feeder is also doing his thing. Fish agitator pendulum. Feet falls out. So, I like that. Here the leek seeds, almost done. Mm, maybe a few more weeks. Tons of leek seeds. <laughs> uh, we got a silly cabbage over here. Uh, it's not really, really something left of it because of all the butterflies we had. <laughs> we still have butterflies here. They are like, yeah, butterflies. <laughs> They're good for uh, leek germination and then the cabbage germination. So. To sacrifice one cabbage for a new generation of thousands of seeds. Okay. It's good. Ah, yeah, the um, berry, uh, berry plant. Raspberry, the raspberry nuts. We have yeah, some old berries, but um, it's this plant. This one here. Uh, mm. Anyway. They have grown uh, sky high and now they are coming down here. Yeah. So we have a new uh, batch of these berries, thrombose. Tons of thrombose. They got a lot of thrombose. <laughs> A little bit of an unorganized section here. Some ornamental plants. Some plants that don't belong here, but yeah. You can pull them out, they will just return. <laughs> and some more carrots. 
really nice. Uh, somewhere there is the Autosiphon. It is right? Yeah, it is there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, it's totally grown over, but um, does its thing. Only for years. So. Thing is working like a charm. I have the Sumpa fish gang. They are being born here, but it's really hard to catch them because uh, it has like a really long path to just escape and then they go out. They go over here. But they've grown fast and they've been born last year and uh, look at them how big they are, you know. Like uh, 12 fish, th maybe 13 fish. Might be swimming some new micro fish in here, but maybe they have eaten them also. I don't know if eggs came out. Might be a nice snack for them. Eat their brothers and sisters. <laughs> yeah, there's a red flower section. Also with tomatoes I planted and um, they just stick the head out of everything now. If you go over there and there's one over there. Yeah. <laughs> I also have uh, the night flower here though. with flowers. <laughs> and uh, this is the tree that does its thing the best, you know. I don't know how it how it keeps up with its own weight. Maybe it will fall out of the grow bed, maybe one day. <laughs> it's a nice tree. And uh, also cucumbers are growing in the in this tree. Oops. One cucumber over there. You see? It? Oh. Oh, side. <laughs> yeah, it's cucumbers. Cucumber tree. Yeah, in the grow time, I was still busy with uh, printing now the cups. These mints did not make it right there. These made it. Made it so really hard. It's <laughs> squishy. I also bought some seeds, more or less, so I can uh, put them in here and then uh, start germinating them. Here they are germinating. So. Nice These are run fine. Might be a hell soon to uh, get the distribution right over 16,000. Because we won't get much longer less in this one. More or less in this one. Almost nothing. <laughs> but yeah, it's fine tuning. So overall, uh, if I look a year back a video, things were not so green as now. So maybe next year is even more jungle and crazy plant growth and more ripe system. Maybe more nutrients available. I don't know. So, if you have any questions and uh, comments, even behind here, uh, give a thumbs up, and put some bells on so you will notified. You will be notified when the next video is up. And let's talk about fish. It's a little cloudy today. Oily the water. Water temperature is also still cool, and uh, we are like very hot days. And, uh, days will become hotter in the future, but uh, water stays cool. <laughs> I'll show you next time the fish. Something to, for, to look out for next time. And I see you. Yeah.